Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, as you may have guessed, I'll be reviewing the most American of all sabers, the 8.7 BR NRB F86 35 Skyblazer Saber. Go over its stats, how it plays, its strengths and weaknesses, and at the end, I will let you know if I recommend this plane or not. That said, let's get into it. So let's start off with its stats, and for those, it has an 1100 6 km per hour top speed, and these are in realistic, a 24 second turn time, a 46.7 meter per second rate of climb, 6 M3 50 cals that put out a total of 5.2 kilograms per second of burst, and finally, for secondary armaments, you can carry only two 1,000 pound bombs or 16 HVAR rockets. You cannot carry the bombs and rockets at the same time. And now for an overview of this plane and how it plays. This is a Sabre Sabre. As far as sub 9.0 BR Sabres are concerned, this is probably the best flying of all of them. This is very much a pure fighter with no frills. It is a fighter in every sense of the word. In car terms, it's almost like the Lamborghini Miura or possibly the McLaren F1 in that, though they have since been overtaken by other vehicles with more technology and power, they are still widely regarded as some of the greatest vehicles of all time. That applies perfectly to the Sabre, and doubly so for the F-86-35. It does not have the tech of modern planes such as missiles or other advanced loadout options, but it can still cut through corners more competently than most vehicles around its BR and makes you feel more at one with this plane than almost every other plane in the game. This is the pure, distilled version of the already pure and distilled F-86. It is a Corvette among Cadillacs. This said, for its gameplay, as mentioned before, this is about as pure of a fighter as any in the game. Gaining altitude in the beginning of a match to then swoop down and destroy your prey will be your best bet, especially considering the dive rate on the F-86-35 Skyblazer. Being that this plane does not have cannons to destroy planes easily, ammo selection becomes especially important. I would choose stealth, universal, or tracer ammo, whichever you're most comfortable with being that they all have a high amount of incendiaries to set enemies on fire while still having enough pen to consistently shoot through bulletproof glass to take out enemy pilots. I would also avoid attacking bombers, being that they tend to be heavily defended at this BR, such as the IL-28 and H-5, unless of course attacking from above or below. You will not have the missiles like other planes do to take out bombers from a safe distance either. This leads to other issues because, as mentioned before, the M3 machine guns that this plane has can have a difficult time cutting it at this BR and can be difficult to get kills with, unless you get pilot kills. Rarely will you end up destroying the entire enemy plane, but at least the good penetration and fire rate of the M3s on the Sabre make pilot kills again a somewhat regular occurrence. Make no mistake, the airframe that this plane is built upon is impeccable and features some of the smoothest and best flying of any plane in game even when considering other sabers. It's just that dogfighting with this can sometimes be like trying to perform open heart surgery on a blue whale with a tiny scalpel. If you master this plane or just master sabers in general, this plane can get you two or three kills in a match, especially if you avoid most head-ons, and that's on average. If not, it'll be a frustrating affair every time you use this plane. And now for its strengths and weaknesses. For its strengths, it has good speed for its BR, good acceleration with it becoming much better at higher speeds, which is characteristic of most early jets, good handling, especially at speed. As a high ammo capacity, this is owing largely to the fact that it uses machine guns rather than cannons, a high rate of fire and accuracy, again owing largely to the M3 machine guns that it uses. The MGs are also good at destroying unarmored ground units if you have no more fighters to destroy. As a good rate of climb, this plane is generally quicker than some of its main opponents, especially the MiG-15, and it also benefits from RP and Silver Lion bonuses. And now for its weaknesses, it loses tons of energy in turns. It also faces more advanced planes around its BR that have missiles, cannons, and higher speeds. It also lacks stopping power, especially against more nimble opponents, making it so that you'll get hits or even non-deadly crits, but no kills. This plane, unless you kill the enemy pilot, will likely end up getting you a lot of assists. It also has a poor secondary armament. Between its outdated and mediocre bomb load and bad HVAR rockets, this plane is thoroughly outclassed by similar BR planes, like the G91R4. The two 1,000 pound bombs are basically only good for cleanup duty if an enemy base is about to be destroyed, but no one else has bombs. 
And finally, it has no afterburners. Now, one of the biggest issues with the F86-35 is that much like tanks have been in this game, the vehicles that have been in War Thunder for longer have largely been left behind. When this plane was first released, it was very powerful, and while it still is very powerful in many regards, missiles, afterburners, and more have been added to the game, while the Skyblazer remains unchanged. This said, the following is a list of planes that have, if I'm not mistaken, come out after the F-86 and have either more tech or are potentially more deadly slash capable of other missions besides just dogfighting. And keep in mind that this is a short, non-comprehensive list. I have the G-91R4, the F-84F, the MiG-17AS, F-9F-8 Cougar, the Swift F-7, the J-29D, and also possibly the F-89, being that it does have afterburners and those nasty cannons. Now, I'm not saying that the F-86-35 is bad or even disadvantaged. I'm just saying that there are, in large part, possibly better, more advanced options in both the regular and premium tech trees for basically every nation in game. The Skyblazer Saber is still fast, agile, and can hold its own in a dogfight. It's just that it lacks what other planes of the same or similar BRs have, missiles, cannons, and a far larger loadout. It's a great plane in its own right, but it is really let down by the poor loadout at its BR. The plane itself is excellent and will put you in a position to fight more than most of the planes that I previously mentioned, but like a featherweight fighter, it'll move and do everything you want, but the stopping power just isn't there to get consistent kills. The saving grace of the Sky Blazer is the large ammo capacity that it carries compared to its upgunned allies and enemies. When compared to other fighters such as the MiG-15 with its low ammo capacity, slower rate of fire, and poor accuracy, the Sabre's primary argument can genuinely be considered advantageous. Heck, even the Sabre F2 has a ridiculously powerful 20mm cannon, two of them in fact, but with hardly any ammo capacity and an insane rate of fire. If nothing else, the Sabre F35 having the large ammo capacity with 50 cals in the 8.7 VR range is like hitting with a ton of small punches in quick succession that are almost always guaranteed to hit the enemy, whereas other planes, again like the MiG-15, throw slow haymakers that, if they land, will knock you out, but you're faster than they are, so they'll have a tough time with hitting you. By not having the missile or cannon capability that other similar BR planes have, such as the G91R4 or MiG-17AS, you may be left wanting for more. Now this is not to say that you won't do well, as I've had numerous 3 plus kill games while filming this video with this plane without dying or even taking damage, but it can be like wielding a scalpel in a knife fight. The F-86-35 Skyblazer feels like an anachronism in this game where it used to be very good and uses old school tech and can still perform, but might be outclassed by the newer planes in game, both in the premium and regular tech trees. Again, this is not a bad plane, but as MGs where other planes have cannons, a light bomb load, and outdated mediocre rockets whereas other planes have missiles and armor piercing rockets, and typically a whole lot more of them. If nothing else, this pack comes with 2,000 Golden Eagles, 15 days of premium time, and a cool pilot model. This pack makes it a compelling argument, especially if you're a fan of Sabres. Going back to my previous car references, if you like Corvettes, this plane is kind of like the Corvette Grand Sport, whereas lesser Sabres are regular Corvettes and the Super Sabre is kind of like the ZR1. On sale, the Skyblazer Sabre is probably worth it, especially with the other goodies that come with it in its pack. Not on sale however, and I won't say to specifically not buy this plane, as it is a great fighter, but weigh your options elsewhere, especially if you like to do more than just look good and fly fast. So do I give this plane my recommendation? Yes. If you like sabers, this is about the best mix of saber capability and BR in the game. If you don't like sabers or are looking for a plane with multi-role capability, I'd look elsewhere, like the G91 R4, German Seahawk, or Vautor. And that finishes this review for the Skyblazer Saber. Thanks so much for watching everyone, it means the world to me. Please subscribe if you have not done so already, as every single subscriber is really important to my channel and you help my channel grow immensely. And, uh, you know, seriously, I appreciate every single one of you that, that does it or comments or likes or whatever. Um, but that being said, please comment below, tell me what you thought of my video, if I helped to influence your purchase or the decision not to purchase the Skyblazer Saber and really any other comments that you want to throw my way. But that being said, signing out for the night. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.